<coughs> hey y'all, Charger back at you here with another video. Today, top 10 best things to do while dipping. Well, before we do anything, take us our last pouch of Copenhagen Wintergreen pouches. The reason I have pouches. Well, I already told you in my other video, so just check out that video if you want to know. But I have one more pouch left. And that was earlier today when I got this one, but. Mm. Anyway. Let's get down to our review. Or not review. What am I talking about? Just. Bear with me here. Hey y'all. <laughs> Again. Hmm. Hey y'all, talking back here to here with another video. Top ten did fuck. Top top ten. Things to do while dipping. The back. Well, number ten on our tenth spot is is going to be the good things to do, and then we'll get to the best things. Number one, which is going to be the best thing to do. Well, uh, let's get to it. Now, number one, dipping while you're walking to someone's house or when you're walking, you're just cruising around trying to get to someone's house, right? Just you're going, you're going, and you just pack your lip, and it's good. Hmm. It's the best. No, it's it's pretty good, but it's not the best. Uh, two. Well, number two. Dipping in stores. Yes, sir. This is pretty good. It's great when you're trying to uh, when you're just looking for stuff in your store, trying to concentrate and think. And you're just like, hmm. Uh, I messed up the camera a little bit, but who cares? Well, you just pack you a lipstick before you go into the store. You got your spit bottle, and then you might want to hide out a little bit. Or mud jug, that'll work. Mud jug will work. Pretty good. Number three, dipping. In church, don't let the priest catch you now. But it's good, you know, when you just raise your hand up, say hallelujah, you quickly pack a lip, like pop it over one hand, just yeah, close it. You're spitting that nose. Uh, oh, I stuck my hand raised up, spit one of those cups that they have in the thing before church like the coffee cups you're like hallelujah but that's number three on our list what comes out to three again number four yeah don't be stupid about it but it is dipping in school now <clears throat> well I heard my phone go off. Um, well, it's, you know, you're just bored. You're sitting at your desk. Just reading what the teacher told you to read. Then you're like, I need nicotine. But what you tell the teacher is you have to piss. So you go to the bathroom, right? 
pack it up, put it in, go back into the classroom. Like, this is great. And you're just like, Whoosh! and the teacher casted you. Like, you didn't go to piss. You put a dip in. And then you say, piss off. You get it? Piss off. Number five. Well, say you're driving, or one of your friends are driving, or parents, wherever you are in life. You're just cruising in a truck, car, van, anything. You just like, you take a long time to get there. It takes like about an hour, two hours. So what you do, you put your whip in. And watch time go by. Like, I mean, it's fast. It goes way faster with the dipping. Trust me. I have experience. And no, our next one is not going to be six. Or number, number four? Wait a minute. I did it backwards. Wait, did I skip numbers? Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, guys, I get what I did, I think. Hold up. You know what? Just screw the numbers. I don't even care no more. Well, next one. I don't know if we have 10 or not. I don't know. But, next one. Y'all gonna like this one. When you're taking a shit. Or taking a shower. It's probably... A Better scenario. Well, you're in the shower, right? Or about to get in the shower. And you're like, oh man, I need to take a shower. I smell a little bad. Do you want to make it nice? Some Copenhagen mint. Yeah. So you just rub that sheet all over you. you know, and then you start picking out the leaves. And you're like, don't want to waste any. And you have to pick off the pubes a little bit. Mm-hmm. Then you're dipping in the shower. Yeah. It's actually pretty fun. You can spit anywhere. And it doesn't matter. I'm like in school. Hmm. I don't even know if we have 10 of these. Really. I don't even really know. Tell me if I do. Mm. Next one. Next. <sighs> You know, let's just go. Next, you're just you catch. I know it sounds funny, but when you're just tossing tennis balls in one of your friends or football, and you're just like, hmm, you would make this better? Dip. It makes everything better, but it's better at these times to do it. So you're just playing cash with your friends, they pack a lip, you pack a lip, and then you just start throwing. Like, yeah, man, you spit, and then you catch that ball. Catch all of them balls, dude. All of them. I swear to God. Hmm. Next one is hunting. Yes, hunting. Yep. Yes, sir. Hunting. Well, let's just say it's still bow season. No? I don't remember. Is it still bow season or is it? Yeah, it's still bow season, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's bow season. But, um, well, let's just say you're in a tree stand, you get the bow and arrow. You got your deal. You got this. You got your mud jug. And y'all, you're just waiting for that dude. You're just waiting for the sun to just go down, like, till like, just barely till it's gone. Till you see that deer. You got, you know, you put it, you to put it in before, while you're waiting for the sun to go down. Or just to barely be up. 
and then you know you see that deer you know that bow all right and you and that son of a bitch and you and just fire straight through the freaking book that 16 porn that you always dreamed about right then you go over to it take out your dip throw it on it right when you're done tracking it yeah and then you put another one in and then you drag the deer by the antlers and you're just hauling it back to the freaking four-wheeler you put it on the four-wheeler you strap it down then you go to your truck you put it in your truck and you just drive out of there while you're putting another deer in Sounds pretty good. Three and one. Three and one. Three and one. Three dips and one. Last one. I don't even know if this was ten or more than ten. I really don't. I. You might think I'm faking it, but I really don't even know. Fishing. Fishing's the best time to do. Dip, 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 dip. That really is the best time fishing you know you're just casting out your rod you got the texas rig on or you got bluegill head on letting it and you just don't get any bites right not getting bass not getting catfish no not even a bluegill anymore you got one bluegill then you put a dipper and you kind of waste the bluegill head So you try to catch more bluegill, and then you start catching bluegill one by one. Then, on your other pool, you switch to the jerk bait. Then you cast the jerk bait out, you do it, and then you catch a big bass, like big, humongous. You reel that sucker in, you pull it up, flip it off, and you throw it back in. Then, you take the bluegill. And then you just hook it right above the head, still alive, still fully intact. And then swing that pole. Yeah, and you just let it hit the bottom. And when it hits the bottom, automatically a catfish just comes in and wrecks that thing, man. Just gets it. And that's what it feels like. The fish can have a dip. Yeah. We're done. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try cutting this thing. And if I don't cut it correctly, uh, I guess you guys won't see it. Or I might just put it up without the cuts, I guess. But that will probably be bad. So I guess I won't. Anyways, thank you. Thank you for your support. Subscribe. Please, thank you, love you, um, um, anyway, if y'all survive, I'll see y'all next time, later, Bye bye